Oh, you have caught me out there. Hi, I'm Egil Thorson, and I'm going to tell you a tale from Denmark. But before that, don't forget to uh, tap the subscription bell and leave us a comment. We always want to hear your comments. We will get back to you. I know it takes a while, but we have so many. But the more, the merrier. The tale I'm going to talk to you today is the golden drinking horn. It comes from Denmark. So, once upon a time, long ago, a man was riding his horse along the road and it's near Hemingsjold, which is south of Hornslet. And he saw a mound with lots of tiny folk dancing around. Then, in front of that was a hag and they offered him a golden drinking horn. This is a bit odd, thought the man, but okay, let's go with it. I'm not going to get fooled, I don't want to be enchanted. So he took the drinking horn, pretended to drink, but threw the drink over his shoulder. Three drops fell upon the horse, and he took away the fur, the skin, and, left, and the horse was not happy, as you can well imagine. So the, old, the man decided, I'm not having any of this and rode off down the road but the hag and the little folk were gaining on him come on get him me, 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 me. and as they went along he thought they're gonna catch me so he rode off across the ploughed field and this slowed the hag down because she had to go round all the furrows and in desperation she picked up a clod of mud and said don't ride over ploughed fields through the mud. The mud landed, plop, and from there grew a mound. And it was known as the Mound of Vendingshaw or the Mound of Turning. However, the man came out of it all right because he had a golden drinking horn. Cheers. Now then, what's going off over there? I don't know what's happening, viewers. Oh. He fell in the water. Somebody's been washing the goons. Hello, Eggle, what are you doing here? I was just telling the good people of Folkton what happened to you. Oh, I've been kicked out of a long ass. Why? This is this sword. It's a new fashion, man. It's stupid, you can't wear You can't look! <laughs> See? I've got him again no. and again and again. Yeah, give me a minute, I nearly had it then. Give you a minute. I got it, I got it. I got it. Now you see, viewers, why having a sword up the back <laughs> is pointless. <laughs> we invented the gunpowder. Gun ah, hang well, up. That, yeah. Don't fall in that pond, Eggle. No, I'm not going to. I don't can need you, Can you put it back for me now? There's, uh, like, there's no way I can get that back in. No, no, no. It's the same bell for women and fowls. Ooh. Do you think I should stop wearing the sword on the back? Yeah, I think so. Do you not think it's going to work? It doesn't look very good you, either. I thought it was going to catch on. I thought. You know, there will be, I wake up one morning, Dead. and everybody, or well maybe, will be wearing the back sword. Mm -mm. And there'll be Tom wearing the back sword. No. There'll be TK wearing the back sword. No. Neil wearing the back sword. No. Uh, Alfred the Great, back sword. No. Oh, come on. Well, what's wrong with it? It's silly. You cannot get hold of it. You can't draw oh. it. And you can't put the thing back when you've done it. Yeah, but I've stabbed my knife. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think that's just dispelled the myth about the back sword. Yeah, I think so too. Can we put it in the bed now? Yeah. And then this folk tale. Yeah, folk what, tale's what, done. What was the folk tale about? It was the golden drinking horn. The golden drinking horn? Yeah, from Denmark. Gold. Is I love gold. Well, I don't see much of it in my line did, of work. Did it have many mead in it? No, it had this weird fluid that burns horses, so... And weird, was it some kind of strange If you want to stuff? know, you watch it, leave a comment and subscribe. I'm going to watch this folks afterwards, can't yeah. wait. Yeah. What should they do, Eggle? Yeah. Leave a comment. On the old bell there. Are you going that way? Because I'm going this way. Okay, well, whatever. I, leave a subscription. I, I think I'm going to take the bat sword off now. Yeah. For another day, until we do some combat demonstrating it, which would take about a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, bucket. while he strips off his Goodbye. back sword and bucket, it's uh...
dear oh dear the things I have to put up with if you've got any comments on the back sword hey leave us a comment about it uh, maybe you're in favor of said fashion I wouldn't think it's very practical despite what Hollywood says so anyway until we meet again take care bye now oh someone's rattling the bucket at me what's going on what's in the bucket uh, onions a new post introduced him well apparently I'm supposed to introduce this onion um, courtesy of Tom uh, well, is the onion called Tom? It is. Uh, some of the skin's gone off there. Look. Oh, well, it, it's teenage. Tom, you're spreading. There's another piece coming off it, look. So, anyway. Are you going to eat that for your dinner? Not at the moment. Not now, but we'll yeah. get back home. Maybe later. Uh, but this is Tom the onion. Uh, that's all I could say, really. But, uh, okay. I'll take Tom home and... Goodbye, Tom. Bye. Bye bye. You didn't know you could say goodbye, did you? No, I didn't know onions could talk. Yeah. Onion there you go. Onion esque.